Hello Fanatics, and welcome to the Fanatic 5. With Nocturnal Animals coming out this past weekend, I decided to do a spotlight on one of the actors from the film, Jake Gyllenhaal. I consider him to be one of my favorite modern actors. So this got me thinking about all of his previous work throughout his career. So here's our list of the best Jake Gyllenhaal performances. Number 5. Edward and Tony from Nocturnal Animals. The first film to make this list is his most recent, with Jake Gyllenhaal's double performance in Nocturnal Animals. Here we have Edward Sheffield, a romantic, humbling novelist who acts as the antagonist to Amy Adams' character while she reflects on their relationship. We also have Tony Hastings, the average family man and protagonist of Sheffield's novel. Here we see the versatility of Gyllenhaal as an actor, all within one film. Edward is the sweet, heartbroken writer who wants to try and make his relationship work. Meanwhile, Tony is the weak-willed family man who transforms into a vengeful widow bent on finding justice. Both characters give us two Gyllenhaals for the price of one, and we can't complain. Number 4. Robert Graysmith from Zodiac David Fincher's Zodiac is next, with Jake Gyllenhaal playing the 1970s San Francisco Chronicle cartoonist Robert Graysmith whose fascination with the Zodiac Killer gets him intertwined in the investigation. Robert's obsessive nature, extreme eye for detail, and rash decision-making makes him a very complex character that you can't help but like. He has incredible chemistry with Robert Downey Jr. in this film, adding not much more to his performance. Even with Ruffalo and Downey Jr. teaming up pre-Avengers, Gyllenhaal is able to outshine them both as the wannabe detective. Number 3. Adam and Anthony from Enemy the first of two films directed by Denise Villeneuve on this list is Enemy, where Gyllenhaal plays a double role, a confident actor and schmuck history teacher, who are carbon copies of one another. Unlike nocturnal animals, these men are in the same story and make up for most of the interactions in this film. Gyllenhaal gives his 100% and is able to perfectly personify both the lonely professor and pretentious movie star, giving us two very layered protagonists. Number two, Detective Loki, from Prisoners. Villeneuve makes this list again with Prisoners, where Gyllenhaal plays Detective Loki, a peculiar cop who has never failed in any of his previous cases. Before Prisoners, Gyllenhaal went through a few years of forgetful performances, but his performance here started a resurgence in his career. This film allowed Gyllenhaal to play a very dramatic and dark character, showing us the niche that he was meant to play. The detective may appear quiet and withdrawn, but he holds a lot of anger within. Mix that with his unconventional tactics, oddball personality, and the fact he is an insomniac, and you can see why Gyllenhaal's performance had so much depth. And number one, Lou Bloom from Nightcrawler. Dan Gilroy's Nightcrawler tops our list, with Gyllenhaal's performance as Lou Bloom, a man whose humanity slowly disintegrates in front of our very eyes due to his careless ambition. He finds a line between reality and illusion blurring as he blindly jumps headfirst into the world of freelance journalism. Gyllenhaal beautifully portrays a man who's never quite fit into society, manipulating the world and people around him as if for his own sadistic game. The character is the perfect anti-hero, giving both the qualities of a sociopath and those of a detached and outcasted everyman. It was a shame that Gyllenhaal wasn't nominated for this film. I mean, after I watched it, I assumed he had his first Academy Award. And there you have it, our spotlight on Jake Gyllenhaal's career. Do you agree or disagree with our list? Do you think I might have missed a performance, or do you have something to add? Let me know in the comments below. This has been the Fanatic 5. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Film Fanatic review, where we discuss the film Nocturnal Animals. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. We post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.